Good afternoon, everyone. I am Looter FM, as always. Hello. Yeah. So, thank you for watching the last episode. Much appreciated. I hope you all like. I hope you like the new thumbnails. I feel like that's the best thumbnail I've done so far. So, quite proud of myself. So, I hope you like it as well. I think it suits it really good. I won't lie. I kind of sort of copied what Lelujo done in one of his. So, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, as the expression goes. And obviously, if you're going to steal, steal from the best. In my opinion, he's the best FM YouTuber. But, I mean, everybody's different. Zealand's very good as well, by the way. And Jack uh, Workspace. And Dr. Benji, when Dr. Benji does it. Plates, etc. There's there's many out there. Omega Luke. I better not leave him out as well. He's doing really well lately. So, But, yeah, thank you, everyone, for supporting me so far. I hope you're enjoying the So Show Youth Only save. I'm really enjoying it. So, I hope it's coming across like that. So, but, yeah. Anyway. Where you left us off last, we are top of the league by three points. All Leons, three points behind us, they're second, 24 games played. So we are on track to get automatic promotion. We're not in the league anymore, we got eliminated by Lille, but that was going to happen anyway. We managed to give plenty of game time to our young players like Rabin, what's his name now? Without looking, the midfielder, central midfielder, I can't remember. Anyway, I'll find out in a sec, but yeah. Anyway, so this is so I'll be back in a sec with the first part of the video. This is just a little intro. Just want to say thank you. And if you haven't subscribed to me and you're watching the videos, please subscribe. It is much appreciated. So back in a sec. All right, so here we are. First game of the episode. We've got we're playing Le Mans FC. Le Mans FC produced a few talented young players, including Raphael. There's one other, but I can't remember who it is at the top of my head. So they're uh, they've produced like a like a typical loads of French teams producing. Very talented players, as always. It doesn't matter which French team. I think everything, every single French team out there has produced probably a world-class player at some point. But yeah, so here's our lineup. We've got the usual defence, other than obviously Diagne's in there for Fontaine. And then we've got Biltard and Drame, midfield as usual, Dosu, Kofi. I have no idea where Dawao is. I think he's still injured. So hopefully he'll be back at some point. Hold on, is that him down there? Well, there he is. Why is he not playing? That's a weird one. Maybe he's not match fit. Let's have a look. History, injuries. Has he had a recent injury? A couple of months ago, only out for six days. Maybe Bizarre's just better than him now. Overtook him in the pecking order. I trust the assistant manager. We're doing well so far, so I have no reason to doubt him. But yeah, Kofi up front and Fatar up front as well. So let's see how we get on. We've also just had our youth intake. So I've just offered contracts to all the good ones. And hopefully in a minute after this, I can show you who we've got and I'm quite excited by the looks of it we've got some very we've got a few elite talents and a lot of top talents so just continually just continuing to build an even bigger talented young squad and I can't complain I feel like I've got too many players at the moment so I think in the summer I might just get rid of anybody that's below say three stars I think I'm just going to look to get rid of to be honest I'll try and do that every Every six months in the game, get rid of the players that just aren't going to be good enough. Keep the wages down as well, because we've got, like I said, we've got a big squad, so it's going to affect the wage bill eventually. But yeah, nothing happening so far. Baxter's decided to join us, everyone. Hello. Hello. Come on. Right, get in. Kofi with his 16th goal of the season, just before half time. I gave Baxter a dental stick because he's, we, we give him these like these natural beef stick things that he loves. But it, it's, it stinks his breath. So whenever I go away for a few hours, I'll give him something like that to chew on to keep him occupied. He comes back and his breath stinking. So I just tried to give him a dental stick, freshen up his breath. But he, he's decided to ignore that one and go back to the bloody beef stick. Right, Morris now with the ball. Here we go. I feel like there's another goal coming up here, hopefully to us. Building up slowly. Beautiful pass. Some nice passing going on here. Oh, I spoke too soon. No, I'm all right. Drame, no, Drame lost the ball there. Come on, Drame, focus. Right, Bastion with the cross. Get in. Never in doubt. Kofi with his 17th goal of the season, second goal in the game. He's on track for a hat-trick. Yeah, top of the league by five points now. We're getting that lead back again that we lost. At one point, we were six points clear of the second and third place, but we lost, I think, one or two games, and then we've gained it back a bit now, so that's good. Right, we've got a few players knackered, so we'll do a bit of swapsies. Now, Fatal's not been playing well, so I'll put Baz on. And I'll put him on. And then Silver can go here. And then that way we just close the game up now. For a laugh, I'm going to take Kofi off and put the goalkeeper on. I do like the fact that you can use all your subs. It's quite funny. 2 0 by the looks of it. Yep. Get in. Good way to start the episode. Right. I'll be back in a sec. Right. We've got a very important game now. We've got Shatter. Sorry. 
Is that how you pronounce it? Chateau. Chateau. Sorry, Chateau. I did a save with them last uh, on FM23. You'd think I would know the name. Yeah, Chateau. Right. Us well, we've got Vital Vitelli in defence with Diagne. Usual fullbacks, usual goalkeeper, usual midfield. Usual wingers and usual strikers. Let's see how we get on against Shatter. No, let me know in the comment section, sorry, what your current save is on Football Manager. First one that does it, I'll give them a shout out in the next video. Well, I say the next video I record. So bear in mind, I might be a couple of videos ahead at the time when you comment. So yeah, but I will com I will give you a shout out at some point. I'm always curious what people's saves are because it always encourages me to do a save in a different country, for instance, or with a different team or... A different scenario oh i've got my save that i do for online content which is this one and then i've got like saves that i do just for like casual leisure but i keep getting bored of every save that i'm starting lately i'm just doing a mostly youth only save with coventry city at the moment but i'm not doing very well with with them so which is not a bad thing because it keeps me interested more more likely if i was winning all the time i could probably get bored I'm just trying to get the tactics right i'm trying not to use because my online saves, I don't use downloaded tactics, but sometimes an offline save, if I get really stuck, I'll just use a downloaded tactic, but I'm not doing it with this commentary save. I'm trying to stop doing that, to be honest, because I think it ruins the fun for me if you're just using these cheat tactics. So, yeah, so hopefully I can turn things around with commentary, but every preset tactic or whatever, or little tweak tactic that I do, oh, beautiful ball, look at that for a goal. It just isn't seem, doesn't seem to be working with commentary. I'm either trying to do youth only, but also trying to get the occasional Scandinavian player in because obviously Coventry's got a good a good record with Scandinavian players, including Guy Okez or whatever his name is, who now plays for Sporting. And as always, I'm trying to sell players for decent money to make money for the club because I always play football manager as like a businessman trying to get as much money possible from transfers. Right, here we go. De Costa with the interception. What's he going to do? Passes back to Alves. And we've got Bastian on the left. Oh, look at that. Alves with a beautiful header. That's what Kofi usually does. I thought it was Kofi that scored that one then, but it wasn't. 2-1, just before half-time. Lovely juggly. We will be eight points clear if we win this one, but that's mostly because all the haven't played. We're not playing today. But you never know, if they lose, we'll be eight points clear, and then we can start rotating the team a bit. I think eight points is quite a decent gap. The cost is injured. He'll come off in a sec, I think. Booted out by our goalie. Oh. Oh, I thought it was going to lose the ball then, but it didn't. Vaz. Oh, Vaz is playing. Oh, yeah, he must have just come on for Vitar. Go on, Kofi. Oh, yes, get in, Vaz. Ninth goal of the season. We could have potentially three strikers with ten or more goals for the season by the end of the season, which is really good. Oh, why has he not come off? There we go. Kofi with his 18th goal of the season. He'll get, I reckon he'll get 25 goals at least, Kofi. The only bad, the only bad thing about that is we're going to have clubs circling around him. French striker that can score goals. Is he French? Yeah, French and I think Ivorian. Yeah, he was born in Ivory Coast as well. Right, so, and then we need to put Galvez, who's actually doing quite well as, on there, but we'll put him down here in his better position. And then we can't really, I don't know. Do you know what? I'll just do that. That's going to be such a weird tactic. There you go. I'll show you on the screen so you can see it. Look at that. We're winning 4 0 and we can take chances. I'll we'll take Kofi off. We'll put the goalie on for the last 10 minutes. There you go. He'll score events eventually, Valete. It's only a matter of time. Come on, give it to Valete. I want a goalie to score now. Drummer. There he is, Valete. Has no idea what the hell to do. He's like, I'm not a bloody striker, I'm a goalkeeper. Right, that's that done. Right, let's just quickly go through these because I think the youth intake will be just sorted in a sec. Right, if it's not come through this one, no. Nah. Right, I'll be back in a sec then. Right, so for some reason, I still haven't had this come up with my youth intake with all of them signing. So I think there's quite a few just going through. So I just thought I'd quickly show you just in case it never comes up some of these top prospects that we've got coming through. So we've got a player called Gautier George, a central midfielder, also can play as a right, right wing back and a defensive midfielder, up to like four to five star potential, balanced personality, his key attributes are tackling, work rate and stamina and aggression. So uh, probably got ourselves a, a young French Roy Keane here. Uh, that's him. And then we've got Bertrand Paisley. Been like these two star and he's got potentially three and a half, four and a half star potential. Light hearted. He is a defense he is a central defender, but also can play left back. Actually, he's a left back, sorry. He's a left back that can also play in central defence. So I apologise. He's got decent tackling, decision making's pretty good, work weight is really good, teamwork's good, stamina's really good as well. Good decisions as well. Light hearted personality, naturally left footed. And then we've got T. 
Fee, Feeboard? I, no, Tyboard. Tyboard? Oh, I don't know. Tyboard. Driven personality straight away. Gives me high hopes for this lad. Potential value here as well. He's 300 to 700k. Current ability is one and a half star. And you've got four to five star potential. Technique is is good. 15. Teamwork is excellent. With 18. Work rate is good with 15. Really good bravery and determination. So, yeah. He's definitely one to watch out for. And then I think there's a couple here as well. I mean, look at these as well. So you've got uh, a right back who can also play as a wing back. Balanced personality, current ability one stars. And then you've got three and a half to four star, four and a half star potential. Has decent aggression, determination, really good teamwork, decent work rate. So look who else. No more luck. I'll probably go through all these. And then we'll still, we will get the report come up to say that all the players have signed their contracts. Probably after the next game. No more luck. But yeah, this player here, Loic Mathias. A central defender can also play on the right and the left back position, full back positions. He has a balanced personality, decent first touch, good aggression and bravery. Decent teamwork, and he's six foot four, so that's quite handy to have. Lelujo would be happy. We'll just look at him. Last one, Ta Ta Samasa, Tari Rusamasa. There you go. It takes me a few times to get it right. Oh god, temperamental personality, which is not good. Hopefully, we can train that out of him. Decent tackling, decent tackling and technique, decision making, balance, stamina. His attributes aren't as good as the other. That we've seen but I, th I think he'll still be good decent ability one star ability sorry and then really good potential he's a malayan the central defender that can also play right back and defensive midfield so yeah so very happy with these but anyway we are playing who are we playing next sas epinel so we are still top of the league i'll just have a quick look Actually, I'll have a look during the game. So we've got a bit of a rotate strikers here. We've got Macy and Vaz up front instead of Fatar and Kofi. And we've got Deo back in the team as left back. pizarra has got, sorry, left wing. And then pizarra has gone on the right wing. And we've got Tete in the central mid. Silva, Fontaine, Diagne, and then Patti Litt in goal. So a bit of a rotated team. I think maybe the assistant manager is resting some of our players and giving some of the other players a chance, which is fine because we are actually eight points clear. But... I've got a game in hand. Nothing so... Oh, Fontaine's injured. Not the best to start. Him and Boris are our best central defenders. And now we have a central defence partnership of Diagne and Vitality, Vitali, which is... I don't think they've played very often together, so it'll be interesting to see how they cope. Accra keeps the ball, luckily. Diagne back to Accra. Cross to Pizard. Pizard playing on the right instead of the left today, which is a change. Great ball to Matalu, who fails to score. Matalu, sorry, Matalu. Right, got the corner in. Headed out. By the way, I have been batch recording, so I'm not a, a dirty scrubber. I haven't been wearing this Man United shirt for the last three or four days before anybody starts thinking that. I do have the abilities to have a shower and get changed. I have to wash my clothes more now anyway, because having this little little dog here, your clothes stink a dog. Well, I don't mind. I'll let him off. Right, still nil-nil. Nope. Just about to encourage the players, but for some reason it won't let me. It drives me mad that you can't just do a shout whenever you want. You have to wait for a certain period of time to happen. It doesn't, that doesn't happen in real life. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be having a manager going, oh, then I can't say anything yet. I've got to wait a minute or two into the game. It's ridiculous. I don't know why FM does it. I think they just do it solely to annoy me. Right, head it up. Let's see what we can do here. Diagne, cross to Vitali. Vitali gives it to Silva. Oh, what a ball. Oh, come on. Makalu could have done better than that. Blue might be coming off soon. Let's see how he gets on in the second half. I think Lacoya will probably come on for him. We definitely can't afford to drop points. We are nine points clear though. Orleans must be playing at the moment. Who are they playing? Oh, they're losing 1 0 to Neil. The win in there. Right, corner to us. Silver floats it up, headed out. Deho to Pizarro. Look at that. That was a great shot. Brilliant goal. Right, Makalu, you're going to come off, I think. We'll put on Lacoya. Oh, there's. We'll put you on. Hard on. And then take Akra off and we'll put on Dossi can play on the week. There we go. Nice, easy 1 0 win. Not the most exciting game in the world, but we managed to get it done. Fontaine is out for three or four months. That's not good. Broken foot as well. 32 years old. He's going to struggle to come back from that, I think. He's not going to be at his best after that. Right then, back in a second, next part. Big game now. Big game now. Our local rivals, Nancy. We could potentially be nine points clear of Orleans if we win this one. We've got a game a hand, so the head of them. They played one game more than us. So big game. We win this one. We are. We've got like f I think like five or six games left in the league after this game. So it will give us a strong chance of getting automatic promotion as champions. But anyway, here's the lineup: Patilette, Galvez, Boris, and Diagne. 
Bastian as the defence and goalies, Drammy and Biltard in midfield, Dosu and Pizard on the wings, and Fatal and Cody up front. Nancy are a strong team. Let's have a look. They've got Lenny Nangris, who I've heard of before. Who else have they got? Yeah, that's it, who I've heard of. Pellegrini, I think I've heard of him before. Lucas Pellegrini. I was thinking of the one who played for Roma or plays for Roma. Anyway, but yeah, they've got a strong team, so they will not be an easy team to beat. But yeah, as you can see here, we're currently seven points. I don't know, nine points clear, sorry. I don't know. I'm really confused by that. Anyway. We'll have a look in a minute. Nancy with the first high. No, 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 no. 18 minutes gone. Nancy are winning. They are co they've are. they come here to spoil the party. All right, we now have a highlight in our favour, hopefully. Cross was not good enough. Ramme with a poor pass. Good interception there. All right, Bastian passes it to Bassard. Bassard with the cross, deflected cross goes over by Kofi. Headed over by Kofi, sorry. Let's try and get an equaliser before the first half finishes. As I said, Nancy are not an easy team to beat. They are also favourites to get promoted with us. And they are our local rivals as well, so the pressure's on. Even though there doesn't look like there's any fans in the stands today. Look at that. Where's all the fans? Come on, Nancy, have a word. All right, Drame with a forward pass. Oh, look at that. It was a beautiful ball. What a goal. Smooth like butter, that was. All right, 1-1. One, one. Let's see if we can get the lead now. I feel like we've got the quality there. We have been the better team overall. A highlight to Nancy. Oh, luckily that came off one of our players. Where's all the fans? They've literally got no fans. Where? Why is the stands empty? Look, there's no fans. Where is it? Where? Are, where's? What's the attendance? Does it say? I can't remember. Where you find this out? That's the one one. At this point, I probably would take a draw if it if it, if it come down to it. I would. I want a late winner though. I'm never happy unless I win every game. Mentality of a champion. That's why. All right, Kofi's knack of, and we'll put the goal in. It's gonna backfire on me eventually. One one. That's all right. We're still doing well. We're still. We're nine points clear. We could have been. 11 points clear though yeah, if we won this one but it is what it is right back in the no wait actually sorry that's the last game of the episode sorry got carried away there. yeah so that's the last game of the episode so as you leave us we are nine points clear we just drew with probably our biggest rival in the league and yeah that's that really so thank you to everyone for watching today's episode thank you for the people who have subscribed to me much appreciated if you haven't subscribed as always please subscribe please try and watch the video to the end as always and if you have then thank you i appreciate your support but yeah i'll be back i think for friday I'll be back friday with another episode so yeah i'll leave you to it enjoy the rest of your day